Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Good morning guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, a new day and a new diet for me. You might have heard me say in my last YouTube video that I wasn't dieting right now. That has changed. So I started tidying up my choices, getting ready to diet in January. Um, and then a couple of things happened. The first one is I got booked for a photo shoot at the end of January. So I need to make sure I'm back in relative photo shoot Nick for that. Um, and the second one was actually after kind of tightening everything up and getting back kind of eating well and stuff again, I've just got my mojo back to diet. Um, so by not going too hard on myself, I'm like, right, cool, I'm ready to diet again now. Even though Christmas is around the corner, like I'm not gonna overstress it with weekends or socials or anything like that, but in the week right now, why not try and lose some body fat? My calories now are varying between 16 to 1800 per day, which is low for me. You've got to bear in mind for the last kind of three months, I've been on two and a half to 3000 a day. So it's quite a drop. And already, even in just a couple of days, um, I've dropped a few kilos, <laughs> two kilos. Um, most of that's probably gonna be water weight, but either way, it's making me feel better about myself, which you can probably tell because I'm stood here talking to you in gym wear instead of 10 layers. Today, I'm gonna show you how I make my 16 to 1800 calories go as far as possible because the hunger has hit me. Breakfast today, I'm just having my usual staple that you saw in the last video. That actually hasn't changed, so I'm gonna have my usual oats with a protein shake, um, but the only little difference is the little Reese's cup from my advent calendar, which is like a little bit of heaven every single morning. Yeah, that's breakfast. I'm now gonna go head to the gym and train legs because everything is good again right now. Like I don't feel ill anymore. I'm excited to get back in the gym. I've got a new training program. Yeah, it's good. I'll catch up with you guys when I get back from the gym. Okay guys, so it's around about midday. I have come back from the gym, showered, changed, got on with some work for this morning. I'm gonna have lunch in a sec, but before I do, I thought I'd show you a snack that I'm making to take to the cinema tonight. These are my sugar-free jelly sweets because I love pick -a mix when I'm at the cinema. Now I don't have the calories for pick -a mix anymore. But these are good, these are okay. What you need to make these is I've got a sachet of sugar-free jelly crystals and a sachet of gelatine powder. You can use the veggie one if you're vegetarian. All I'm gonna do is these two in this jug with hot water, and then I've got these little, can you see this? Laura's camera work again. I've got these little, um, they're silicone cupcake cases, but basically I just fill them. Then I'm gonna put them in the fridge for a couple of hours and then I'll just pop them out and smuggle them into the cinema tonight in my Tupperware. Basically, for the whole lot, it's like 70 calories and they're pretty much all protein. So, um, yeah, definitely a lot more diet friendly than an actual pick and mix would be. Okay, so lunch today is something that I've actually meal prepped a batch of at the start of the week. So I've got some lean mince burgers that I made and I just use this Tesco 5% fat mince with, it's like carrot and onion maybe, I wanna say, mix. Um, I'll find a picture of it and drop it in. And then I've just got some peppers, onions, mushrooms that I cooked up. So I'm gonna whack this in the microwave now for a couple of minutes and then just serve it on some spinach. So here it is out of my Tupperware and looking much more exciting. That's one thing I will say actually is when I'm dieting, I try and make my food look better, which I know sounds ridiculous because it doesn't change anything about it. Um, but you definitely get better satiety. If, if it looks better, you'll take longer to eat it and you'll feel fuller. Just eaten lunch and I fancy something sweet. So I'm gonna come to my advent calendar. Yes, I have two advent calendars. I am greedy and I couldn't decide between chocolate or sweets. So I decided to get one of each. So these go, this goes in my oats every morning. I do track it. Um, and this one I usually have after lunch just to take the little edge off that sweet craving. But how good is this? These are like my favorite sweets. You get two little sweets every day. I'm gonna get some more work done. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Okay, so afternoon snack time. 
and I have got what was one of my staples throughout my entire contest prep this year. This was a snack that I had pretty much every afternoon in some variety or another. I find for me in the afternoon, I always get like this mid afternoon snack craving. And for me, this mixture of like, obviously everyone's so individual with this, but I find if I have carbs at this time of day, I tend to <laughs> crave more carbohydrate, whereas actually if I have a mix of protein and fats, it just keeps me fuller till my dinner. I've got 250 grams of the fat-free quark, which you've probably seen on my channel numerous times before because I eat a lot of this stuff. I actually think it's completely disgusting on its own, but mixed up with these flavour drops, um, will this focus? If I come down here. Is that like the mode I've got it on or something? Like seriously, I've been here like five minutes now trying to get these to focus. Oh, seriously, why wouldn't you focus? Ugh. Now the colour looks different because I've changed the setting. So, these flavour drops from, what was I saying? Quark is disgusting on its own. I wouldn't eat it by itself. But if you mix it with these flavour drops from my protein, um, it basically turns it into a flavoured yoghurt. So today I've got banana ones in there. Portion control, when I buy almonds, I buy them in these little packets. I know it's slightly more expensive, but it's already weighed out. I put them in my bag and it's really easy actually in my bag if I'm out for the day I'll have these three things and then you can just mix the drops in the pot and eat it on the go and then I'm going to put some of this banoffee pie so we're going for the banana toffee vibes this is really hard with my left hand there we go ta-da snack time I'll catch up you guys at my next meal getting ready to leave and I've popped my jellies my jelly sweets out the cases so I thought I'd show you guys what they look like so they are just like little gummy sweets um, so I will take these to the cinema and have them a bit later. All right, Lady Gaga party. <laughs> so I'm in the car with Hannah. Yes, she is. She's promised not to kill us today. Maybe, maybe so, not. <laughs> we're on our way. <laughs> One of our regular spots. We're going to grab some food at Nando's and then we are going to the cinema. So I will check in with you guys at Nando's. Show you what you want to do. Hannah's got a pick a mix. I've got a massive Sprite Zero coming. I can't ever focus this thing. Oh yeah, my super extra limitless card because when I signed up, I didn't want to take a picture in the queue, so I gave them a selfie. <laughs> so we have just come out of the cinema. We watched Last Christmas. Chick flick, feel good, Christmas feel. What do you think, Hannah? It was a very good, feel good, Christmassy, girly movie. I'm not sure any men would be like that into it though. No, don't drag your boyfriend, drag your mate to go and see it. Picked up a decaf coffee on the way out and a protein bar, which is probably going to be my last bit of food for the day. Well, it will be my last bit of food for the day. got left. <laughs> because I've hit all my calories. There we go, week one of dieting. So I will fill you guys in on my progress throughout my entire diet. Right or uh, left? left. <laughs> If I ever make it home. So if that sounds like something you want to hear, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up so I know to keep producing more content like it. I'll see you in the next video.